Out the mud, off the muscle, the podcast, baby. What's out, man? We're out the mud, podcast, off the muscle. This bitch from McIntosh, and I'm checking here on the south side at the Skin of Cuts, and we finna go checking in with some of the best barbers in the city. Let's go. How much is that like from work? Yeah, that's a good question. Have, have you made, say, millions of dollars? No. Are you a rich man? What do you mean rich? What do you mean? You have a lot of possessions, a lot oh. of money in the bank. Possession make you rich? I know I don't have that type of richness. My richness uh. is life forever. What's more important to you? Is it cars and the clothes? Is it money and hoes? Is it sold out shows? Respecting the codes? Is it friends and the foes? Is it diamonds and gold? Cause nobody knows. What about them kids going to college to gain them a little knowledge? Finding a good job, putting money off in their pockets. Raising a couple leaders, teach them remain solid. Tell them to find a passion, the passion gon' turn to profit. I could tell you about this G-Wagon sitting in my driveway. Or tell you about the haters looking at me sideways when I pull up. It's like every time I look up, I gotta pull the 45 out to keep them shook up. The ops watching, cops watching, the haters near. Since the beginning of my career, I thought I made it clear. I'm not the one you wanna fuck with, and I ain't dying for this fuck shit. What's Take more it all. important to you? Is it cars and the clothes? Is it money and hoes? Is it sold out? Uh, off the muscle, I'm here live. Uh, introduce yourself. Lee Jones, Anthony Wilson, owner, barber, distinctive cuts. Alright, tell me how long you've been cutting. Cut 21 years. 21 years. What got you in the cut? What got me into it? Well, actually, I started cutting when I was 13. I had a passion for it. Working my hands, making you guys look good. I love the finished results of it. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. So what's life uh, like at uh, the Speed of Christmas? Different every day. You never know what you're gonna expect in the barbershop. Never know, never know. I love it. So just introduce yourself, man. Jay, Jay the barber, that's what I call myself. You know what I mean? So, uh, how long have you been cutting? I've been cutting since I was like 7th grade, I was like a wife. Oh, man. It's something I like to do. What you do? Uh, I just, you know, interview, uh, walk around, talk, talk to people, basically. <laughs> so, uh, what's life like in, uh, the skin to put? Oh, man, it's great. I love it. Be a good dude, you know. We like family. Everybody get along. We like brothers. I love them. The name speaks for itself. It's good life to be in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I chose the right one. All right, we back with another bub. Please introduce yourself, please. Andrew Ross, aka known as Rudy. All right, man. How long you been cutting here? Man, I've been cutting here for over about 16 years, 54, no, about 17 on and off. Right, right, right. You know, so, but in all, I've been cutting for about 19, 20 years. So, yeah, yeah, all the time. So, we got to start with cutting here. Man, my dad. My dad cut hair. Then I got aunties on my mom's side. They do hair. So, that's what got me in it. So, and I've been. I've been doing it ever since, ever since like seven grade. So, so uh, what is life like in the city? Well, can't complain. You know, we have our ups and downs, but that's a barbershop. That's what we do. So, no other than that, culture. Introduce yourself, man. Yeah, hey, man, I'm solid, man. I work at this thing because this is why I've been doing my thing is the last, like, you know, uh, six, four, five years. How long you been cutting? Uh, let me say it'll be six this summer. All right, so what got you into this? Like, what inspired you? Uh, kind of something I just picked up. I like getting money. Safe money, anyway. So what is, what is life like as a thing good? It's cool, laid back. I uh, talk to a lot of different crowd of people, uh, lawyers, doctors. Uh, more older crowd. Now the young crowd come through, fuck with me, but you know most of the older crowd. Why well, Coach Carter with the sweater, man? Legit. Gotta get in my girl clothes. 
sister, sister Clyde. Shout out to all my other young niggas out there, young fly barber shit. Niggas, uh, Weed, Montana, Land Bank, Small, uh, Ponte. Shit, if I'm leaving anybody, I ain't no press, I ain't no smoke. Uh, Lil Chris. Shit, uh, Scooter. Shit. Kome, Kome. Uh, I ain't trying to leave nobody out, bro. Is it? For open doors, had designs to go and get it for the blessings that was stored. What's more important to you? Is it cars in the clothes? Is it money and hoes? Is it sold out shows? Respecting the coast? Is it friends and the foes? Is it diamonds and gold? Cause nobody knows. What about them kids going to college to gain them a little knowledge? Finding a good job, putting money off in their pockets. Raising a couple leaders, teach them remain solid. Tell them to find the passion, the passion gon' turn to profits.